Welcome to day 72 of the 300 movie challenge. Today we watched the highest grossing film of May 2000, which was Mission Impossible. I, I. <laughs> I was about to say, um, now. <laughs> if you didn't say I, I. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I think you put it best. Um, I think you said that you thought you would dislike Aaron Brockovich. Yeah. And like this movie, but this was just a standard dumb action movie. You know. Yeah. You know what movie I was comparing this to? The closest. What? Time Cop. <laughs> oh, really? That's really sad. But actually. the thing is, I think Time Cop is funnier. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It is so... funnier. <laughs> it is funnier. So kind of because again, like there are some like stupid action moments in this, right? Like mostly all the, yeah. the ending stuff, but like a lot of the honestly, like the first half is like really boring. <laughs> yeah, it is. So... Yeah, it's, you lose your interest for the whole beginning half of the movie and everything. I feel like. I watched maybe a later Mission Impossible movie, and it was definitely funnier. But I feel like this goes off of the whole thing, like in the 90s, where comedy wasn't really seen as part of an action movie until later on. It takes itself way too seriously. Yeah. This definitely took itself way too seriously. It should have just it lost later. itself to the goof. Yeah. <laughs> should have. Would have been much better. Yeah. I think the later ones are funnier. I vaguely remember seeing, like, one. That's why I thought this would be, like, nice and everything. I was like, oh, okay, this will be a funny movie. It, it wasn't. If anything, Not quite yet. Yeah, if anything, it was just kind of boring. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty boring. And, like, his hair was so distracting. <laughs> yeah, the, the main character's hair is, like, The really romantic bad. couple also was... Dumb. Yeah. Contrived. Yeah. yeah. I mean, within five minutes of the movie, they're already in bed. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, and I was just like, really? Yeah. The only upside is, like, Anthony Hopkins is in it. Mm hmm. Yep. But he doesn't, not like he does that much. He doesn't. He doesn't really... do anything, but just yeah. seeing him and hearing his voice <laughs> gave me a little bit of comfort, even though um, he's Hannibal Lecter, but. I will say one thing at least. At least they gave Australia something. Since all the previous films, it was always New York City or somewhere in California. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. City it was of nice. Or San Francisco. So it was nice to see like a different location, at least. At it was least. nice to see Australia, at least. Yeah. Because Entrapment was what? Taipei or something? No, it was uh, Kuala Lumpur. Oh. oh, right. Uh. <laughs> but... Oh, okay. There's actually... There's one thing I did kind of like. Um, and it's, like, really specific. And again, they didn't handle it that well, but just, like, the concept was kind of neat. Where, like, the the guy... Uh, the, the stupid hair guy was... Tom Cruise? Yeah. Um, he was, like, breaking into, like, the bio building to, like, you know, get the stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and then, like, but the villain, he, like, basically knew, like, figured out exactly what he was gonna do and, like, countered him. Mm -hmm. Right, so that kind of, like, exchange where he's, like, the villain's, like, perfectly kind of figuring out what exactly the guy was gonna do was kind of interesting <laughs> because usually that kind of exchange is, like, the reverse, where, like, the good guy perfectly counters what, like, the villain's gonna do. That's right. Yeah. Which he kind of ended up doing later in the film anyway, but I don't know, just kind of the setup for that was, like, kind of interesting. Like, oh, okay, that's kind of neat, but I mean, like, that's kind of it in terms of stuff that was neat <laughs> for me again because like i feel like the action again some of the stuff at the end was like silly but i feel like it like could have been a lot sillier yeah okay. i think that was basically the downfall of the film it wasn't silly enough yeah like it took itself way too seriously it thought it was like an epic action movie that was gonna be serious and gripping and, and a tear jerker Oh yeah, oh, the, super sure. the super dramatic music at points. Uh, <laughs> that was just like, are we supposed to care? 
And the pigeons. Oh my god, pigeons. <laughs> and like all the masks, like um, in the beginning, Valen was like, oh, this is the same guy who directed Face Off. And I was like, well, there you go. It's Face Off Part 2. Oh, yeah. Like, everyone. Because like eight different that. masks were taken off. Yeah. No, once you like see that that's a thing, it's like you can kind of predict like all of like the twists or whatever. Because you're just like, oh, if yeah. there's any sort of conversation that seems like important or whatever, it's probably some dude in a mask. And it's like, oh, it is. So it's just like, well, okay. Like the whole. I mean, I guess I won't really spoil it, but there's the whole, like, the way that he gets... really much to spoil. I, I don't know. The the way that the good guy gets away, basically. That kind of yeah. thing. Like, I called that, like, immediately. I was like, oh, it's this. And it was. So it's just like, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, again, it's it's not... It almost made me <laughs> go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, again, the, I, I never would have thought this, but I was, like, 40 minutes in. I was like, this is boring. <laughs> It is. It was really boring. Because, <laughs> like, the very beginning... Uh, I can't... Actually, what even was the very beginning? Uh, oh, the, the, thing the plane. The plane, okay. So, like, the very, the very beginning, like, the first, like, five minutes is like, okay. And yeah, then, that was fine. And then, you know, there's, like, introducing the characters, there's, like, the stupid romance thing, okay. And then there's, like, the random, like, car action sequence for, like, no reason for it to exist. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then they start, like, hooking up in the car before it, like, falls off the cliff yeah. or something. So that was yeah. dumb. And then, but, like, after that, I feel like there's, like, an hour where there's, like, no action whatsoever. <laughs> and it's just, like, it's, like, from well, that it, like... until yeah. he breaks into the, to the bio building, right? And there's, like, a good yeah. amount of time where, like, nothing really interesting happens and you're just, like... This is boring. <laughs> boring as sin. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it definitely should have just gone for maximum cheese. Yeah. <laughs> At least it's funny. Maximum cheese, or they should have just not taken themselves as seriously and just wrote it off as a funny film instead. They should have yeah. all acted like John Travolta and Broken Arrow. Yeah, no, like, I... <laughs> Again, I thought Time Cop was funnier, I thought Broken Arrow was funnier, I thought The Rock was funnier, like, all of these action <laughs> movies that, are, like, take themselves less seriously, and it is more entertaining, right? So, it's just, I don't know, it's just all, I don't know. It, it's not, there's nothing really, like, terrible about it, it's just kind of, like, there's not really a reason to see it. Especially, again, since there's, like, so many other movies that are really similar. Like, you know, Die Hard, right? Go watch that, right? Yeah, go <laughs> watch Die Hard, so much better. Yeah, so... You know. so many years ago now. I want to watch it again. <laughs> Actually, it's it, it's exactly five years ago. Aww. It was May 95, and now we're May 2000. Aww. How disappointing. <laughs> Look what we've <laughs> become. <laughs> Look how far we've come. <laughs> so sad. Yes. Yeah, we went from... Because, uh, yeah, that, I heard that was film 12. So yeah, that was, we went from 4% to 24%. Ooh, we're, oh. almost, we're almost a quarter of the way done. Oh my Yay! god! Yay! Interesting. Cray cray. I know. Well, <laughs> this is definitely the most disappointing film of 2000 so far. Uh, yeah, yeah, but... This one and, like, the previous one? Yeah. With the submarine? Yeah. I yeah. think I'd rather watch the submarine. Oh, actually, I don't it's know. It's so hard to pick between the two. They're both. I don't know. At flawed. least I, I will say that again, at least for like the climax of this movie, again, it does kind of get like it enjoyably stupid. That's true. So, yeah. So I don't. Yeah. I don't know. They're very. Yeah. U five seven one and this are pretty equivalent. Mm -hmm, though, in yeah. terms of like interest and kind of what happens. Just kind of meh. Yeah. The only thing that I'll give you 571 is that at least the backgrounds and the sets and stuff were nice. That's yeah. Fair. Yeah. That was... As opposed to random pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> was was that supposed to be symbolic or something? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's it's pigeons. 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 When I think pigeons, I immediately think of the um, Phineas and Ferb episode where Doofenshmirtz tried to like brainwash the pigeons to like be his minions or whatever. Oh, did I see that episode? I don't remember. Whenever I hear pigeons, I think of Italy. 
Because they have tons of pigeons like flying around and they might land on you and try to eat your food. There's tons of pi- there, if you want a lot of pigeons, go to San Francisco. They're everywhere. Or, or New York City. Or New York City. Yeah. Yeah. Any city, basically, I guess. I don't think they were in India. Well, I, I mean, I mean yeah, they live in India. I don't know. Do I mean, maybe. I don't, I don't remember know. any in South India, at least. Maybe it's too hot. I guess, yeah. wait, man, are there pigeons in Tokyo? Tokyo? Uh, I can't remember. I feel like there might not have been because, like, the city is so clean and there's nothing for them to eat. That's true. You don't see any trash anywhere. <laughs> There's, like, literally nothing for them to eat unless you, like, go to the park. I think I saw pigeons in Helsinki, either. That's understandable! <laughs> <laughs> We're talk- Why are we talking about pigeons? Because there are pigeons in this movie. <laughs> like At least it scenes. makes more sense than why- Than the origin of Truth Month. That's true. Yeah. That's very true. <laughs> That's very true. I was just about- you stole my joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Wait, which one of us stole your joke? My did. Oh. <laughs> Tari, Tari, you are spared for now. <laughs> for now? <laughs> Until you invoke my wrath again. <laughs> <laughs> When was the last time you invoked your wrath? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. <sighs> Whatever. Just go watch Die Hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's basically the consensus of this. Yeah. Will, will anything- will, will we get an action movie that's better than that? I don't know. I don't think so. I can't think of any at the top of my head. Again, in, in terms especially of like that stereotypical kind of action Right, because there's films yeah. that are like kind of, you know, definitely have a lot of action in them, and some people would classify. But you might action, expect it. But to be just there's as is. like a specific series that um my family enjoys that might. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Um, the first one is coming up in a little while, I think. Six years. Not... Yeah, it's six. Not soon. Oh, it's actually okay. number one fifty. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> there you, you know go. That off the top of your head. <laughs> because I, I I just remembered what 150 was because it was the halfway point. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. So there you go. That'll be I, the halfway point. I have point. hopes for that at least. I vaguely remember it and stuff, but um, I might not be the best person. <laughs> really. We'll we'll, we'll find will. out at some point. We'll find out. <laughs> Later down the line. Yeah. Don't hold me to that. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> we'll bring up this very clip for that moment. Yes. No. To shame you for eternity. No. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> In any case, goodbye, guys. Goodbye. We spent like half this review talking about other things. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's really not too much to talk about, so. Yeah. Yeah. Meh. Meh. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.